Hey, Michael dropping in just to give you a quick review of my new Sonos Beam speaker. Alright, technically it's a sound bar, but it's really speaker. And uh, it's actually really great. Look how small it is. It's very compact and it's built very solidly. When you grab it and hold it, uh, it just doesn't feel quite as light as I was expecting it might feel. It's very simple. There's not much going on on the back. You have a HDMI cable, you've got an Ethernet cable, and then this is the button that you push when you're initially setting it up, and then you've got the power cable going in there. And that is it. And then on the top you've got your standard, if you're using a Sonos One speaker, this is going to look pretty familiar to you. It's your basic control panel right on top of the speaker. You can turn the microphone on or off with a simple touch of the button. You can also do that from the app. And then you've got your volume buttons, plus or minus, and also your play pause button in the middle here. What I like about this is the Alexa integration, and there are uh, some limitations with the Alexa implementation. But having said that, I use this in conjunction with my Sonos One speakers that are interspersed throughout the house. And we have a, a BotVac that is controlled by this, as well as many... Uh, smart plugs we have scattered around the house and we're able to cr control all those through the Sonos as well as the Echo Dot that I also have. The only limitation that really bugs me is that I can't group an Echo Dot with the other Sonos speakers. But that's not Sonos' fault, that's uh, Amazon's fault. So uh, please send your complaints to Amazon about that. Now this is a stereo speaker so uh, I know a lot of people might be wondering, well, this is $400. Are two Sonos One speakers uh, going to be superior? And I would have to say yes. However, this does have a very satisfying sound to it. It has actually very good bass, better than I was expecting. And I am not disappointed by the sound quality of the Beam whatsoever. Uh, the fact that this is a self-contained stereo unit and it's not that large means that I can place this in all sorts of different places. And uh, to be quite honest, I'm not even going to use this with my HDTV right away. I've just got this. I just bring this around with me and place it in different rooms and, until we find a place where we absolutely want it to stay. But you could mount this up on the wall. You can put it on top of a hut. You can have it sitting on a table. Uh, you can, you know, the placement of this can be uh, very flexible, and of course, you can mount it underneath your HD TV. So it does work really well. I can ask Alexa to tell me what the temperature is. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 91 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 67. And there you go. And I can turn that microphone off if I want. Uh, very attractive. It does have. Uh, you know, all the speakers are, are in here and it has a lot of microphones and obviously, um, like most of these Sonos speakers that I own, the Sonos One particularly, the, uh, the microphones pick me up across the room even when music is playing or dialogue is going on. Uh, it's really amazing how well it does pick up my voice commands without having to yell at the speaker and be louder than whatever is playing. Some people say that doesn't work as well. I'm not really sure what they might be doing wrong or what the difference is, but it works very well for me. So that's it. Uh, I have a little bit more information for you in my written review, but I hope you uh, like your Sonos Beam if you end up getting one, and I'd just like to thank you for watching, and have a great day.